very dark now. Damn. If only I had a halo light. That would be the thing. <sighs> Hang on, I have an idea. I like to say I'm a bit of a genius. So, there's that. Wait for this to fill up a little bit while I go over my notes. I don't know if I trust that actually. Does it look like this? Nope. Does it look like that? Nope. Why are mag lights so heavy? this fill up and then we'll go from there or not fill up but we'll give it a hot second it's not gonna be an extra long stream now I look like I'm just being <laughs> I swear to God, no, don't shoot. I'm innocent, I'm innocent, I swear to God. All right, let's see what we got going on. Tell me a ghost story. Well, um, there once was a man from Nantucket. He came and sat on a pine needle and died. Yes, a pine needle. He had a, a allergic reaction, but it was very sad. There, that's the end of my ghost story. Okay, uh, what happened? What happened, what happened? Okay, we got these keys. I think I found this in Bernard's, Bernard's, Bernard's uh, thing. Let me see. I got the staff. Where's the... So, so far it sounds like... Okay, what is it? 31 Silver Lake. Maybe British Butler. I part of me thinks he did do it. I think Andrew may have been involved in the body disposal. I think that was the re reveal. The mystery was revealed then. Um, tell me how the stream quality is. It's a bit of a test tonight. I think there's a way for me to open this. I feel like her body's in this well. We'll find out. Let's go on this journey to the other show. Hi, welcome to the stream. Hi, welcome to my show. Talking is a little low. I'm also not talking very well. I guess get this one off. Don't look at my screen. It's horrible. Is that better? Coming across better. How's that? I boosted the microphone. I can bump, bump this part up. Yeah, better. Okay, cool. I'm gonna keep my voice kind of low and not be so bassy. So my kid doesn't wake up. More likely she will. And if she does, it's game over. Game over, man. Game over, man. What the fuck are we gonna do? Silver Lake is over there. Here, this map is seriously poorly rendered because there's a whole other part of town over here. But whatever. You know, what? Whatever. I truly.
really doomed to get it. I'm gonna zoom in because it's more dramatic. Anyway, we got what we got. Silver Lake is. I think I'm right at Clover Street, which is over here. I swear to God, if a ghost shows up, I'm gonna lose my shit. I mean, we already saw one earlier. It was the ghost of the dead girl. That was just a bowl of fun to have that discovery. Now we are at the corner of Silver Lake and Clover. Crimson and Clover, over and over. <coughs> I think it's this way. Four. Maybe I went the wrong way. Yeah, we're getting single digits. <laughs> Whoever the t planning commission was that got this town needs to be fired. How dare they make it so quaint and walkable. 31. I'm looking for 31. Let's see if this is the key to his house. That he just left in his locker. Again. It doesn't make a damn lick of sense that everyone just like just just bailed because they had to go they had to go. Oh I think I'm on the right track. No I'm not. This is out of town. see my beautiful smile. Alright, we're auto-saving. That's never good. It's never it's never good when auto-save occurs when you walk into a new building. Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh my. See, who would leave this if you could just take your time and pack up and go? Like, Vivian Roberts, The Untold Story. Wait, is this written by... Who wrote it? There's no author. Vivian Roberts is well known for her success as a businesswoman in the 20th century. Mo most people did not know was that her seemingly overnight success was a 30 years journey that defied everything that she was told to believe in. Ooh, so brave. Vivian was the first and only person in her family to graduate college. By her mid-20s, she left a high pay, a highly paid job. You're okay. The grammar is it's like roller coasters. We are at, at like Mat Matterhorn levels of jerkiness. Game, let me trap a bunch of items and autosave since boss battle totally isn't ahead. Wink. If the boss battle in this game is anything like it has been throughout the entirety of this game, it's just going to be me having to read a log and not screw up the enunciation of the poorly written English. A uh, highly paid job to start a controversial company. But we're not going to tell you what that was. It just is controversial. She then met her current husband, Charles Roberts, with whom she dedicated her life with, helped transform the Roberts' family business, and supported him during his mayoral election in the mid-70s. She also started the Roberts Relief Foundation for the Poor and in... And, and, and initiated medical research programs for the sick which resulted I can't becoming one of the best rehab centers in the nation then why the hell did the town go belly up and shit doesn't make it whatever this is the story of a young woman who came from a humble beginning and became the most respected love person in the town of Paints Creek I think this is self published in Paints Creek and made for only the people of Paints Creek like one person in the entire country is going to be like, you know, let's move to that abandoned town. Oh, my. Um. You see, I have axe. I have an axe. I don't display it in my home. I mean, it's not a pretty one. But it's... But it's clearly been broken into. Okay, let's... Okay, it's locked. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, can I take one of those? You're not gonna even grab one, girl. By the way, let's let's show you who I am. What is this? Yeah, 
But let's get us a refresher. I am this wafy Janet Kelly, who looks like I am the murderer. I would not be surprised. At all. Um, uh, tell me if the squeaking locks in this place uh, get too loud. Oh, okay, so we're doing pills. Again, nondescript. Cool. Okay, your glass is completely matted. Uh, matted. Uh, more pills. What does it say? Paynes Creek Pharmacy. Uh, that's it. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna check. That. Modest kitchen for a butler. He just bottled around with his styrofoam cups. My god, man. What if the environment? Okay, what do we got? He jan he jarred and he had ew and some tin. Bottles of that Da Vinci wine that everyone only drinks in this town, because everyone in this town is loaded and has expensive wine. Oh boy. I don't like this at all. What have we got in here? Pencils? Clearly, the mark of a madman. Oh my. That's... Come back here. Don't go away. AOL, <laughs> AOL password. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Study room locked desk. Hint. Subtract the yellow darts points from the red darts total. Okay, I'm gonna write this down. Why don't I have a pen? Oh, I took it downstairs like a fool. Yay, pills. Let's take them and find the alley to nap it. Oh my god. Okay, so I have actual math to do. Okay. So Aunt Cecilia's apartment code. Who's Aunt Cecilia? Four four seven two zero six pound. Let's see if that comes up. Now you must find his earth link. I'm actually wondering if he has a um <clears throat> <clears throat> Pardon me. I wonder if he actually has a uh a GeoCities website. See I'm just trying to pull it back from the analogs of the internet. So subtract yellow darts, study room desk. Okay, so I think that's I think that's the office's lock. So subtract. Actually, wait, I don't need to do that. I can take a picture. So much easier than they're taking. So he's got a dart in there. So I think this is the man who's going Yes, Bernard Hopkin. Okay, let's read. It's very mist like this game. Two weeks ago, Scott came to me and asked if a batter beer. I was surprised. He knew about someone who used to work here 20 years ago. I told him that she was once a maid that worked here, but after a few years, she decided to leave the village. Uh, by the way, Amber, if I'm bothering you, let me know. Okay. Today, I commented about the conversation to Vivian. She asked if Scott had said or asked anything about... Uh, Anything ever else since then, I could see she felt uneasy. She told me to keep an eye on him. I find all this very unsettling. Derek doesn't seem too willing to drive to v for Vivian. I don't think a five-day trip is that long. Well, that's that's a long time to be stuck in a car with someone you don't like. I mean, take it from me. I've been on trips with friends. You want to kind of kill someone after five days. Um... I don't think a trip of five days that long. Charles had trips longer than that, uh, and Derek never seemed to mind them. <laughs> now that I think about it, Derek is unusually quiet when Vivian is around. He doesn't seem to look at her. It's like he's avoiding her. I wonder why. I've noticed Vivian has been getting increasingly paranoid whenever she sees Scott. <laughs> yeah, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more, say no more. Uh, to the point of being upset by his presence. She asked Charles to have someone replace Scott, but Charles kept him. He likes the boy. Maybe those hunting trips really bonded them together. Mm-hmm. 
It's dad's death anniversary day today. I just, I just never said like, it's someone's death anniversary. I mean, it just seems like an odd way of going about it, but whatever. Um, I can't believe it's already been more than two decades. I visited his grave this morning. His tombstone is full of fallen leaves. It looks like autumn has started. Mom's tombstone is covered with leaves too. I read today's newspaper and updated him on the things that happened here recently. As I sat there talking, I wonder if I, he could hear me. Will I just spend the rest of my life serving Charles and Vivian until I die? What will people remember me for? <laughs> Writing this. <laughs> I saw Scott and Trisha today. They looked so, they looked happy. I almost envied them. I think my chance at ever having a relationship with someone is over. Oof. What would my life be if I had accepted Angela? I don't think we would have been happy. <laughs> she wasn't my type, anyhow. Who is my type, then? Vivian, I don't know who. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm, so, so. Unappointed love. Unappointed love. Moving on. Okay, so he's got, there's a dartboard. So clearly it's the one in the inn. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Not seeing anything. <laughs> Vive la France. Okay. Wait a minute, let's see. No, actually, no, that key won't work. Let's see, let's see. Alright, went in there, went in there, went in there. Okay, so I got the dartboard combination. And this would be for... And we're loading. And we're loading. Hang on. Apologies, was setting up the van. Again, they just left, like, clothing out, and how it's been, it's been since, like, 98, this is 2005, according to when the, the game's going, that stuff would be just, just destroyed. What unnatural materials are made from? Nylon? Nycra? The souls of children? I don't know. And these are questions we need answers to. Who made that blanket, and why is it lasting so long on a line? Get to the end. Let's see the puzzle that was set up there and no one else touched at all in years for reasons unknown to us. Because you know, when I'm an employee at a hotel, if a butler who doesn't work there tells me not to touch the darts on the dartboard, I listen to him. I never touch them. Ever. Okay, so let's look at this. Okay, subtract. The study room locked desk hint. Subtract the yellow darts. Points from the red darts total. Okay, so. Subtract the yellow darts points from the red darts total. So it's a total of. So it's 15. <laughs> the inner bowl, outer bowl. Okay, so it's 18 plus 18. Hang on, I'm a writer. Do simple s <laughs> addition. Okay, it's 26, right? <laughs> Someone has been running around naked for a long time. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, you know, homegirl, meaning, where is she? I mean, you know, this is the riveting game of math. The game. There's a, this. That was just unnerving. Okay, so they have 26. And then we got minus. Really? Minus? Subtract the yellow darts points from the red darts total. So they got 
a 15, but that's the, it's a double ring. The outer ring count, the outer ring counts as double the normal score, okay? So that's, the outer ring counts as double the normal score, so that'd be 30. That doesn't make any sense. I don't think I did that right. Does he have a dartboard in his house? Hang on. How many darts are in the drawer over here? Pedantic. Oh, we got two. And then we got one over here. And then he has the yellow, other yellow dart. The one remainder one. The one remaining one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So then that would be 15 plus 15. So that's 30. So 30 minus 26 is negative 4. This is a strange puzzle. I don't think I missed a dartboard in his house. I'm gonna go back to Bernard's house real, real fast. Hmm. How's your guys this evening? It's going well? I'm Tim. Better than me because I have to do math right now. A subject as a writer, I am not the best at. Especially since I learned old math, which the new math now makes better because people can't count the way they used to. Subtract the yellow darts points from the red darts total. Oh, is that in the house? There is a dartboard in the house, I believe. I still got that one key. I still got that one door code. We'll try it real quick. get to execute the murdered. Uh, I hope not. Sorry, this is uh, not the most entertaining stream because I'm trying to keep my personality in check a tiny bit. <laughs> Was that loud? Let me know. Because it would tell me what to adjust. I'm sorry? Okay, do you want to take care of that? Well, right now I'm a little preoccupied. I think I 
sworn there was a dartboard in this house. If only people just spoke in clear sentences and thoughts and ideas, rather than leaving pedantic puzzles to solve. Wait a minute. Right, I forgot about that one. The Rook one. Oh, I can step up on there. Look how tall I've gotten. I'm surprised the drawer can support my hefty body. <laughs> Just pull that door right into my face. Let's check those chess pieces over here. Make sure I wrote down the right numbers. One. Seven. Bishop. Rook. God, I really want to get access to the photo lab. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Five, two. I kind of feel it's a combination of these somewhere. Two at the front, five in the middle, seven, okay, now let's try, okay, let's try moving. Just descending order. No. How about ascending order? Hmm. I swear to God, this is like one of those coded things where it's like. B for bishop, R for rook, K for knight, P for pawn. Comes to the play, I'm going to lose my mind. Okay. We are losing time there. The next game I play will not be this boring. I can't imagine what the music's like. I'm glad I turned it down, because it sounds a little creepy. <laughs> and not in a fun way. At all. super fast and see what I find there. 
Okay. I just want to double check something because we do have to turn the power back on in here to get the card reader to work. to get over here. Perfect. Where's this go? Oh, right. It goes on this side of the hospital. Now, where's the meter? No. Where's the meter for this hospital? Let's take a moment to check it. Oh my lord. Oh right. We can't go on this side. Because we have this unbreakable chain that I can't even crawl under. <laughs> what is this? What is this madness? Okay. the rules game. Arbitrary chains will stop me from going into places. Okay, there is the medical records thing that came up. And it's like, I'm sure there's like some kind of big reveal here. Injury with the alcoholic. shut off in here that was like I said when stuff happens it's like <laughs> I made it I can walk again hey I am so brave Right, wait, I read this. Yeah, I remember reading that now. Oh, yeah, right, what's this? Time capsule, right? The time capsule. Let's see if there's any. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't think I'm, sure. <gasps> I'm so glad when I got your letter. I am sorry too. Thank you for. There's blood. Oh no. Oh no. Thank you for letting me choose where to bear our time capsule. I have a few ideas. I want you to pick one. The playground. The behind the hunting cabin. The cemetery. And number four. Ah, oh, we didn't get to number four. Mm, okay. So. It's, it's in one of these three locations, that thing. I think we're going to go treasure hunting. Let me take out the camera. down. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Cool. Alright. Alright, 
let's see how that's got in here because that was a pretty important piece of information. Still can't get in the basement. I gotta go into the basement to fix that. Well, let's see. Playground behind the hunting cabin cemetery. And the shovel and flashlight are in the shovel and the wrench are in the photo lab. We may not be able to do this one yet. <sighs> this math equation is gonna freaking haunt me. Why did I take a picture of that? <laughs> right. All the tea. Okay. <sighs> Ugh. Creaky doors in this joint. Should I just go to a walkthrough chat? What do you think? Should I just go to a walkthrough so we can tie off this game and move on with our lives? Like, tell me what you think. Should we cheat? Because I'm kind of in the mood for cheating. <laughs> like, I want to be detective and I want to do all that stuff, but man, like, unless you do this in one sitting, it's kind of a hard thread to follow. And I have been taking notes even. I can't do nats right now and I'm tired. <laughs> okay, I'll be it's just fun to watch things animate because I don't have a lot of that happening in this game. Okay. Um, okay, so it's clearly the dark game in here. So, subtract the yellow darts points from the red darts total, and you'll get a s the study room lock desk hint. Alright, let me go back to his house. Let's try to crack that safe while we're doing this. The sound effects in this game are all over the place. Is it uh, really loud, really quiet, really loud, really quiet? I need details! Anything in here? I'm gonna jimmy this. Let's get out of here. No, I can't leave! Damn it! Jimmy all the locks. Just fuck you, game. Fuck you. There. Ha ha. You'll never catch me. Never. Anyway, um. So, uh, should I get walked through for this? Should I just be like, okay, how do I tie this thing off? Because the mystery is not bad. Although the mystery of why everyone just left is still mysterious. You know, the whole thing with the maid, who is his mom, who is clearly the step the stepbrother to the daughter. Like, Scott is clearly the stepbrother to uh, the this, this sister, or the lady. Not the lady, the, the woman. The woman's. So I think, I do think Bernard killed. I say that because he has this on his desk. He loved her. And it's just a matter of, did he do it with an axe? Did he do it with an axe? Oh yeah, the guns are... So many rifles. 
Oh, a knife is missing. We got a knife missing, an axe missing. Oh, it's missing though. This is made by Rockstar, right? J just kill a hooker and steal her car. I feel like I'm getting to that point. Oh my god. Is there, is there just a secret candelabra I'm not touching? Tell me your secrets! Alright. Okay. Is it... 18... Eight, four. Okay, is it twenty six thirty? God, I wish it was good at games. Okay, it's not that. Is it? I'm seriously thinking about getting a, a guide for this because I'm like, I can't do this puzzle right now. I don't know. This puzzle is, is the pits. Okay, subtract the yellow darts points from the red darts total. Why didn't I take a picture of the dartboard? Why didn't they do that? No, they were at the eight, 18 and 8. And then the other dart was at 15. Per the rules, subtract the yellow darts points. Red darts total. Okay, so if we don't even do the points thing. Red darts points. I should take a picture of the board. Should take a picture of that board. If you're new to the channel, please consider following me. You know, as I build up a client. You folks who wish to watch, uh, I will probably stream additional games. I do enjoy this. This is a lot of fun playing games in such a manner. Take a picture of the dark board. Oh, good, there's stairs. Perfect. Any hopes and dreams anyone have? I, I don't right now. Anybody? Out there? Hello? Butter, no. Okay. Eighteen. Eight. I have it right in front of me, but let's look at this. Single scores. Inside out. Okay. Double ring. The outer ring. So many dang combo locks. Did no one in this town trust each other? Uh, I mean, they left everything. It's like a nuclear bomb went off nearby and everyone just <laughs> had to go. So, I don't know why everyone has combo. I mean, you know, padlocks everywhere. Okay, so we know the secret. We already know, like, the drama. We just need to get the, the who and the how at this point. The inner ring counts as triple. Our ring counts as double. Players must start and finish with a double scoring dart. Players must start and finish with a double scoring dart. 
the player's starting score value is set. The starting score value is at 501. The aim is to finish the game as low of a score as possible. Scoring a double on the last dart thrown will make the player's score zero. When the player is thrown through three darts, their score is added up. The total is then subtracted from that original 501 amount to create the final total. Again, the lowest score is the winner. <sighs> okay, so you start off at 501. Then what was it? Subtract the yellow darts points from the red darts total. So you start off at 501, minus 26, so that puts you at 501 minus, let me think about this, let me think about this, hold on, you have a privacy camera. I have the camera on, but I've covered it, so let me think. 501 minus. <sighs> 501 minus 26, why can't I do no a simple subtract? So that would be 5. There were 25 and this were 500. That put you at 475, so that put you at. 475 because it's one up and one up. Okay, so that'd be 475. So subtract the yellow darts points from the darts total. So 475 minus 30. That's just a hint. Subtract the yellow darts points from the red darts total. That's only three numbers. This is what I mean when I'm like, I'm very tempted to look up a guide for this puzzle, and I think I'm just going to. It is late. And I want to solve this puzzle before I go to bed. Otherwise, it's going to drive me insane. Okay. I'm sorry that I'm doing this, but... Dart. I'm sorry that I'm doing this, but I really hate math puzzles. Like, especially when it's like a word problem and I can't get it. Yeah, I, okay, I'm going to try that, and then we're going to go from there, and again, I apologize for cheating, I straight up cheated just then, but I regret nothing, absolutely nothing, and if you're casting judgment on me, chat, um, tell me who invented darts and why did they make the point system so weird? you tell me that would make a lot more sense to me because right now I'm at a loss who decided that you start off at 501 and the whole point is to get as close to zero as possible which I mean that's an interesting idea but it just I don't know my, my brain is just tired and I 
feel broken as a human being. But, yeah, like, I couldn't total that correctly, and I think it's just my own, you know, brain being strange. I'm really afraid that at some point I'm gonna have to run for my ghost. But we'll find out. Alright. Let's see what we get. And I totally admit, I straight up cheated on this puzzle. finish this game. Okay, so zero. One. Four. Seven. Okay. So then let's try it. Aha. Ah. Just, I have a lot of journals. But this seems obs obscene. When the police reported that Vivian was murdered, I was floored. I still don't know what to do. My mind is blank. All I can think is, how did it happen? How can Vivian be dead? Everyone's mourning Vivian's death. People are coming or calling in to express their condolences. Charles hasn't been out of his room for days, and Trish is crying her heart out. Dorothy has been assigned to busy work to all the mansion employees, hoping that it would take their minds off of Vivian's death. Samuel, our security guard, has been reviewing all the tapes for the past two weeks. For any suspicious activities, I wish it could be. I wish I could have any help. Scott was just apprehended for the murder of Vivian. Is that true? No one. No one would have thought of that. I could never ever believe that Scott would be capable of killing someone, let alone Vivian. Yet it makes me so sad. It makes me so mad. Ugh. I feel confused. Trisha was, has admitted to the hospital today. She had a very she had a nervous breakdown after finding out that Scott had been her mother's killer. Her condition is getting worse for the past few weeks, and no one has been properly been able to properly help her. Charles has finally decided to seek help from the hospital. Matthew never believed that his son killed Vivian. He hired some fancy lawyer to defend him. Scott's been released on bail. It's beyond ridiculous. I don't think Scott should have been released at all, despite the insufficient evidence he killed Vivian. I know that he's guilty. Everyone knows it. They should have gone ahead and prosecuted him. Yeesh. Due process get fucked with you, huh? The maids were cleaning the mansion, and they found some stuff belonging to Vivian. A key and some stationery. Asked Charles what he... I could just do with him. He told me to take care of it. He told me to take care of it myself. I brought them back to my place. Vivian's death has caused lots of grief for everyone, especially Charles. After hearing how heartbroken Charles was two nights ago, I can't bear to see him suffer anymore. Scott should pay for what he did. I believe you, sir. It's like a desk key. Maybe it's for the clock. Son of a bitch. I am the world's dumbest detective. He had a dartboard in his freaking office. <laughs> I cheated. Oh, I did it for all the wrong reasons. I did it for all the wrong reasons! Now! That is what I get. The desk key. I think there's any desks that are not locked. Man. I'll figure this out later. I've been playing for an hour. I'm gonna cut off the stream here. Um, thank you for joining me for the night edition of Pain Screen Killings. I'm going to go to bed and think about what I've done. By that I mean cheat over a puzzle that was clearly right there. So thank you again for, for hanging out. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stream. Whatever this is. I'll see you all later.